everybody. <coughs> well, as you can tell, I'm a little sick, but that won't stop me from making this video. <coughs> oh god. Anyway, uh, I've done a couple of Minimator videos, and um, it's all cool and stuff. But um, a friend of mine asked me, H "How do you, how do you like make the guns?" How did you make the gun in Tenga Ore? Well, um, in that Tenga Egg Ore video I did of the guy shooting himself with um, a pixelated gun, uh, I actually used a custom items.png that I used for a uh, texture pack for one of my friend's custom maps, which uh, I'll actually link to his channel in the description. But um, here's another way of doing that that'll probably be a lot better, um, and it is through schematic files. Which, um, if you didn't already know, schematic files are basically what MC Edit, a, a Minecraft map editor, uses for, um, like, copying and pasting certain files. So if you, let, like, make a house schematic, you can copy and paste it into another world easily. So, uh, let's see what we've got right here. Right here we've got this, uh, revolver that Steve is holding. Um, it's made out of Minecraft blocks. I'm going to show you how to actually put that into your game. Um, I mean, uh, Minimator. Put that in Minimator. Um, and stuff like that. I'll show you how. I'll just move on to Minecraft right now. Alright, so now that we are over in Minecraft, as you can see, we've got the same revolver that we had before. Except, uh, I think that it exported badly, so it doesn't have the sights in Minimator. And it does not have the other side of the cylinder in Minimator. But anyway, yeah, as you can see, we got, um, our gun. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to actually, um, make these things. Let's try to build a diamond pickaxe out of, uh, you guessed it, diamond blocks. No, anyway, first we have to build the, uh, actual part right here. Um, of course, but then we uh move on to the um There you go. Now that we've got that, we will head over head on over to MC Edit. Alright, so now that we are in MC Edit, we can uh head on over to that schematics world I was in. And as you can see we got our player character um right here and uh this is the pickaxe ah. sorry microphone fell that was a fail anyway um we've got our pickaxe right here um so anyway we're gonna want to select this i guess uh select this area and then we can nudge it this way I suggest nudging it a bit bigger than the um, actual thing will be, I think. That's what I suggest. Alright, so the blue one controls uh, these two sides. Yellow one controls these two sides. Re really intuitive GUI we've got, kind of. But... It's pretty easy to use. Kind of hard, but you'll get the hang of it soon. I'm not sure how to select, like, nudge it more above. Uh, you're just gonna have to figure that out yourself, I guess. But uh, yeah, other than that, we've got we got microphone keeps on falling. This thing is not on the stand. Anyway, um, so we take this pickaxe and uh, let's see where. We export this as, um, let's go on my desktop, Minimator Schematics Pickaxe. Alright, so now over in Minimator, we've got our pickaxe. It's got a little bit of grass, but, uh, don't worry. Don't, wor don't worry, that I believe that could be easily fixed. Anyway, but yeah, we've got our pickaxe schematic right here. And, uh, so that's how to, um, basically use that. Now, how to, um, basically use a Minecraft-styled item for your gun. Anyway, we want to add an item, and instead of using default items, 
let's go to uh, browse right here and then right here we want to use a custom weapons thing I've already got all the weapons so anyway we can give him a shotgun yeah let's give him a shotgun why not and then let's move this shotgun Uh, just a little bit. Ah. So yeah, Steve's got a shotgun now. Now, making the items.pngs, uh, a little bit more complicated. We'll move on from that. Alright, so now we're in paint.net. Um, this is actually using an old items.png somebody put together for, like, the snapshots of Minecraft, so the items are not updated. But don't worry. We don't need to worry at all. Um, just, uh, basically what we do is, uh, we, like, put an item somewhere between these cubes. Uh, we can, like, for example, that revolver back there, we can completely make that. I actually want to stick with, like, the iron color scheme for this, so let's, uh... So, yeah, we've got the, uh, gun right here. Then, of course, if you want to, like, add other stuff to it, like the cylinder right here, you could do that. To totally up to you. Now we can save this as something in the Minimator folder. Minimator. Revolver. Oh, forgot something. We need to trim off these edges. Because otherwise that will appear. Let's head back over to the, um... Let's head back into, um, Minimator. Alright, so now over in here we've got Steve holding his Minecraft-styled revolver. It's pretty cool. Not too bad, I have to say. But yeah, um, there's Steve holding the revolver. Now on to um, one of the other things that uh, somebody asked me for: how to um, make that little particle effect, uh, um, like the explosion in Aliens intro, and uh, the muzzle flash in um, uh, Tenga Egor. Now we basically use the same principle. Add an item. Just put it somewhere. Can you can you color this uh thing? I don't think you can color the uh, leather cap. But anyway, let's like move it somewhere. Right here is a good place, like near the revolver, because um you'll see what I'm gonna do. Some people may have guessed what I did here, but uh this is just in case. Um. But anyway, instead of the default items, uh, we go to Browse, uh, look for, uh, extract your, uh, particles.png from Minecraft. And then, uh, put it in here for the items. And, uh, alright, so from here on, we've pretty much got an obvious uh, part of how to do the muzzle flare but overlay take the color you can like change the color around and then so yeah we've got a little muzzle flash coming out of the uh, gun we can just move it around here Also, this is a nice place where Z fighting takes place. Z fighting, in case you don't know, uh, hold on, I'm going to um, move this over a little bit so that you can, so that I can get more of a more of an example of what Z fighting is. Okay, well, this is the best example I can really give of it. But it's when two, 
two um, edges uh, collide, like two planes collide, and it like just fucks up. It's hard to explain, really. Go look it up on like Wikipedia or something. I suggest because I do not go to give a good um, uh, definition of what it means. God, I, I just cannot speak correctly today. But yeah, that's how you uh, that's how you do muzzle flashes and guns. Man, that was quite a big tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. And if you didn't, well, um, I just don't know. Oh yeah, you could also use um this particle, this villager particle, and overlay that with uh the orange texture. Completely fine. So yeah, that's what's cool about uh, Minecraft and this Minimator program because you can like use your own items and particles as like an item and it'll still it'll still work. It'll completely work, which is really nice. I love that. Also, developer of Minimator, if you're watching this, uh, your program's great. I hope you update it with quite a lot of stuff. See ya.